and gentlemen, welcome to a magical, magical, dare I say magical, episode of the Eastside Dave Show. And now, without further ado, here's your magical host, Mr. Eastside David McDonald. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for my round of applause. Thank you so much. Where's my round of applause? Yeah! Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Eastside Dave Show. My name is Eastside Dave. My name is Eastside Dave. No matter who Roy tells people that he's Eastside Dave, apparently he's been going around telling New York City strangers that he's Eastside Dave, causing all kinds of trouble. Don't think I didn't find out about it, because I did. Minus two points. Oh. Now, would you like a gratuitous talk show monologue, Roy? Might as well, Dave. Okay, thank you very much. Listen, Darth Trump has created controversy by calling Senator Elizabeth Warren Pocahontas in front of a group of Native Americans who consider that a slur. In all honesty, you think that's a slur? You should hear what Darth Trump called LeBron James, okay? Let me tell you something. No good, all right? I it was not worse. He, it was worse. I bet, David. Oh, it was the big one. <laughs> as far as slurs go, I still rank that the number one slur of all time. It's official. MTV is going to have a Jersey Shore reunion called Jersey Shore Family Vacation. How about that? In one fun episode, after a drunk Snooky breastfeeds her baby, the infant blows a 1.2. So that's it. Yeah. Don't try. Don't try, young man. Speaking of breast milk, WWE superstar and new mother, Brie Bella, she is nice. Well, there she is. Whoa, yes, sir. She's a new mom. Looks like her. She's donating her breast milk to mothers in need. Hey, Brie, I ain't no mother, but I'd sure like to drink your tit juice, lady. Let me tell you. Yeah, look it up. I like swear. And when I'm done drinking it, I'm gonna smear it on my face and wear it like war paint as I jerk off to Apocalypto, okay? So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna pitch your pants, Dave. That last one is, that's, that's weird. Now today, Roy, is National French Toast Day. That's my favorite. Are you, so that's your favorite I day. I love National French Not Toast Christmas. Day. Not Christmas. Nope. Thanksgiving. Nope. I would have thought maybe a throw a Jew in the oven for you. Oh. Be, well, today is National French Toast Day, celebrating the delicious breakfast food, not to be confused with National French Stewart Day, which celebrates squinty-eyed gay men, or as I call him, third cock from the sun. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that fake laugh, boy. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Shit, You're really man. perfecting your. You're both Ed McMahon and uh, Doc. Uh, what was his fucking name? The guy Paul with the. Paul Schaefer. Doc. I was Severson. the Tonight Show. What? I'm Doc. Uh, Severson? Uh, yeah, Severson. 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 You're like yeah. Doc Severson and Ed yes. McMahon at the same time. That's well, somewhat of a compliment. Um, yeah, Thanks, go Dave. take it, take it. Well, so few compliments come your way. That's um, for sure. Now, John Lasseter. He's the founder of Pixar and the head of Disney Animation. Oh. He's been accused now of sexual harassment. Oh, no good, Dave. Nope. Several anonymous sources who have worked for him are accusing him of this. Disney says it will no longer release John Lasseter's planned Pixar film for 2018 called Sex Toy Story. <laughs> I tell you though, it is better than his other movie, which he had planned, Finding Dildo. Okay, thank you. I like the Finding Dildo one. Finding Dildo, right? And it's like a fucking dildo in the ocean. Where'd he go? Where's the fucking dildo? His dad's looking for him. And the Some of Charles Manson's personal items are heading to a museum in Las Vegas, including his dentures, and Sharon Tate's murdered fetus. Hey, that's rough stuff right there. On The Voice last night, Miley Cyrus admitted that she doesn't like a lot of her own music. Well, that makes two of us, bitch! Now hit my fucking music! Let's go! Let's Shit fest. This ain't no radio nope. show. This ain't no party. Nope. This ain't no disco. Nope. This ain't no television show nope. either. No. Nope. What is it? 
It's the East Side Dave Show. It's the East yeah. Side Dave Show. Yeah. Yeah. Bubbly, yeah. bubbly, yeah. stuttering maniac said. Well, she's driving away with the dim lights on. And she's making a play. And she can't go wrong. She never waits too long. She's winding them down on her clock machine. And she won't give up, cause she's 17. She's a frozen fire. She's my one desire. I don't want to hold her down. Don't want to break her crown. When she says, Three, oh, got... Let's go. I like the nightlife, baby. She says, I like the nightlife, baby. She says, Let's go. Roy Hart and the Heart at that kitty. She's in the house. I'm She's here. on us. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking seven minutes late. What oh my god. <laughs> Everyone's off the rails again. Unbelievable. Well, she's laughing inside. Cause they can't refuse. She's so beautiful now. She doesn't wear her shoes. She never likes to choose. She's got wonderful eyes. And a risque mouth. And when I asked her before, she said she's holding out. She's a frozen fire. She's my one desire. Don't want to hold her down. Don't want to break her crown. When she says, let's go. I like the nightlife, baby. You tonight. No question. Just, Don't lie. Poquito, poquito. You've baby. been found poquito, out. Poquito. What's the name of the security guard, John? Uh oh. Tell that little uh, riff rap Lou, with the, with the uh, earring. We call him Poo. Poo. <laughs> Poo. Yeah. Poo. Lou. But we call him Lou. Poo. Lou. 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 But his name is Poo. He's the security guard here at Compound Media. Downstairs, when buddy. you enter the lobby, he ain't your buddy the whatsoever. Guy. After what I've experienced, <laughs> he fucking hates you. What? And I love this guy for it. That's him right there. He works oh in the God, lobby. Oh my God, that's amazing. And that was the most discreet picture I could take because <laughs> there was a giant that's sign so and two parking cones <laughs> in front of two doors there's three doors here and two of the doors yeah it said other door yeah all the way to the yeah. left <laughs> with big huge new york city orange parking cones in front of them okay okay i see the sign i go in the proper door on the left Roy apparently doesn't see a side, doesn't know what a fucking parking cone indicates. <laughs> He's trying to rip open the fucking door. He finally does. I will say this, you your strength it. was amazing. Because the fucking thing was locked. You break the goddamn door handle almost. Sure did. You, he rips open the door, yeah. uh, fucking knocks the parking cone down. You have never seen a security guard hop up off his chair he so quickly. Surprisingly, he was very he was angry. He was waiting that's for someone crazy. to fuck up. And that someone was Roy. He comes around his desk. I've never even seen... I thought the guy was glued to his fucking chair. <laughs> I've never seen the man actually stand. I didn't think he could. Yeah. I thought he was like Stephen Hawking, you know, oh. like a wheelchair bound or something. God, he damn. comes from around his desk and yells at Roy. Like, in really front yells. of a lobby of four or five people, myself included, he goes, Are you fucking blind? Do you see the sign? Are you fucking blind? 
did he say? Are you fucking? That boy? he said the f word. Yeah, he was really. He angry. actually and and that with so a bad. raised. My impression <laughs> literally <laughs> doesn't even do him justice. He was yelling. He was mad. Loud with the f bomb. Yeah. Are you fucking blind? <laughs> I tell him. Now I Roy's a live wire. So I'm like, oh god, this is how we get fired from Compound Media. They say it can't be done, but I can see Roy freaking out on this guy, oh, doing yeah. some weird German area Nazi. You talk to me like that? Who are you, dot face? Dot head? Who are you, Mahatma Gandhi, to talk to the Eif, the Fjorns like this? Um, I thought Roy was gonna snap. Roy kept his cool, yeah. but here's the crazy thing. That was not enough for the guy. He continued to lay into him. And what was awkward about it was we had to wait for a couple minutes because all the elevators were upstairs. Oh, yeah. So, so we had to wait for him down. Well, there was this fat black woman who was so uncomfortable. <laughs> she was like, what? And uh, he goes, um, I see you every Tuesday. And you come in drunk, high. That's what he and said? you fuck around here yeah. at the building. You know. fuck around. You fuck around. <laughs> you will fuck around. I was going to fuck around. I'm like, all right. It was Are like a kidding? Scorsese movie. He was, like, he was fucking cursing his ass I off. I couldn't stop laughing. I couldn't That's believe it. You so, laughed in front of him? By the way, yeah, it was the most funny thing I had to this all Being day. the, uh, just the, the horrible friend that I am, this was way too entertaining. I instantly backstab Roy. I go, well, he's right, Roy. You know, you do, you do come That's in funny. Uh, a little drunk. Uh, <laughs> Roy hasn't drank alcohol in 11 years. Okay, that's that's a fact. I know that to be true. He does not touch this stuff. Now the weed, pot. He's a he's a fucking. He's like High Times magazine over there. The guy is both Cheech and Sean. But, but he doesn't drink. But still, the fact that he continuously, you come in drunk, drunk and stoned, and I you fuck, and calling him fuck. No. Fuckhead. Really? Asshole. Yeah, and I am angry. I will give you four points. <laughs> four I, points. Because I, I swear to God, I was anticipating you fucking losing your cool, and oh, then I, I'm just I, sitting in the corner. I kept my cool. No, I found it very entertaining, actually. Was, you like how I backstabbed you? <laughs> I, I tried to turn around, and I pretended oh, like. Wait, that's the. I forgot I let that part out. Roy! Yeah. <laughs> because he's apparently going around telling people that he's me. <laughs> and he's giving the Dave fan, whose name is already Dirt, he's making it even shittier. If it's possible, shit dirt is how is, is, is what you're doing to my name here. Okay, I have barely a name as it is. So, Roy, when he's yelling at Roy, and he's not giving up, he's literally not quitting. And he's Roy's like, I know, uh, uh, I told this, I told Dave not to do that. And so he starts it out, and I'm like, yeah, that wasn't me. That wasn't me, you asshole. Ah, Pooh. Or, or, or as John calls him, Pooh. Pooh is right about you. Now, Pooh. Pooh has never been more right about, Pooh, you feel free. I am gonna say this, this is an open invitation to Pooh to come on the East Side Dave show, if he wants, yes. Oh my God. I want to, I just need to clear the air because I don't want to leave. I don't know what this uh, Indian fella's got. If he's got no. some voodoo doll, he's going to do some uh, cursing with uh, but that's Mahatma. that's the first time he's ever, like, just spoke to you. I've never hear, from... hear, heard him speak in general. I say hello to the guy every day. It's gotten to the point where he doesn't make me sign in anymore. So he's very friendly. I thought we yeah. had a He does going. not like you today actually so i'm late and i come in no and he, shit yeah well mine anyway. is 30. so the point is so i'm coming in and so he was standing up he wasn't even sitting back down that's because roy got this that, guy in a fucking that dizzy must have just happened or something roy but, fucking ruined this poor bastard's dude, day. Dude, he was standing up like this, like on the counter, yeah. just like just staring out the window. Don't fuck with <laughs> those parking codes. So, he was so, like he was waiting for the next of guy. All the things so to be angry about. He didn't even say hi to me. Every Tuesday he'll say hi to me. And this time he just like. And no, I, Roy, I Roy's her. ruined it for us. Oh, you know what's going to make everything better? We better apologize to Pooh. I'm going to make everything better. Hold on. What, the what are you going to do? Oh, God. That's Pooh right there. I'm going to do a little magic for you, David. You're going to do... What? Leave my fucking head alone. <laughs> I swear to God. I <laughs> That was weird placement for that the card trick. That was actually really cool. That was a, a very was a reflection. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not working. I still think you're a scumbag.
But uh, you did take it in stride, so that was good. Yeah. Five more points. But I'm curious as to, like, was he just harboring all of this negative energy? Oh, clearly him? he's hated Roy all this time. For, like, the whole because time. you cannot blow up at someone. Like, the first what? thing you do is, like, and you've never spoke to them before. You know why? How is Roy thinks he's being fun and clever when he calls the guy boss and chief. He's like, just going up oh, the compound okay. media, boss. And I think the guy feels it's sarcastic. And let's be honest, there is definitely a tinge of sarcasm. You, you, yeah. So you're you're condescending wow. this poor fucking security guard of Middle you're Eastern descent. By the way, gun. of all people, the guy could machete. fucking work for ISIS for all I know. Right, that's what and, I'm saying. And he's going to come up here a vest full of dynamite and just take <laughs> us all out because of your rudeness and condescension. Now minus eight points. The more I think about it, we're probably going to get hit by Al-Qaeda at some point. So that's, that's, that's the fucking target you've put on the goddamn East Side Day shows back. Big A never does uh, anything like this. Right? Uh, uh oh, never. Mr. Oh, champion. Mr. Champion. Champion. And he calls me Mr. Champion with zero sarcasm, Roy. It's, this is one. a scandal, Roy. <laughs> like scandal. And wait till Anthony hears about this. Okay, I'm gonna text him. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Time out. Oh, time, out I am. time out, time out. I am texting so let's not Anthony tell Anthony about uh, we are. Well, no, no, come on. I am. Dave, seriously, we don't have to tell Anthony about Boy, it. Boy. No, Dave, Dave, come on. Here, hold on. Anthony. Is there something behind your ear, David? Hold on, I, I see something behind your ear, David. Is there something <laughs> behind my ear? Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Whoa. He did the goddamn <laughs> fucking card trick again for some reason. So what happened? You the found function. a deck of cards and, you, and you're, you're doing the one uh, trick? Magic. magic. <laughs> feeling magical tonight, I'm a David. sucker you're for feeling magic. magical. Yeah, feeling we magic. don't care. Okay, so that's the scandal. <laughs> and it's a big scandal, my friend. How was your Thanksgiving? Did you do anything? Yeah, it was. Uh, did a lot of magic, David. Stop it. <laughs> no, no, you just did it twice in about 45 seconds. We had planned I, I had you had to a, do your magic I trick. Had a very nice Thanksgiving. In about 30 minute space, you know, in increments. Okay, fair Not enough. one after another. I had a very nice, I actually hosted Thanksgiving this year, so I invited the Harder Clan to my house. Did you yell at them? Did you, did, were you condescending with them? Did you call everyone chief and boss? Yeah, of course. Uh, around your table? <laughs> did your family yell at you like Pooh did? They always yell at yeah. me, Dave. I, I, well, they, they deserve to, <laughs> with how you act. Um, my Thanksgiving, we always go around the table uh, it's after dinner, but before the pie, before dessert. Okay. We always go around the table saying what we're thankful for. <laughs> no, come on, seriously? How I swear typical. to God. And when, when I was a kid, so white. it was <laughs> the most terrifying experience of all time. Because I could never think of anything. Yeah. And like, I know the feeling. All my brothers and cousins, they're <laughs> all older. They're like eight, nine, ten years older than me. Okay. So I was like eight. All my brothers are 17. They'd be like, oh, I'm thankful for my new Camaro. <laughs> I'm thankful for Journey's new album. And I'm like, well, I don't drive, and I've yet to even discover music. I don't know. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I was always fucking panic. Um, and I still actually have anxiety over it. Well, this year, uh -oh. we've had a lot of fun wrestling adventures. Me and my uh, son Stanley and daughter Juliana. We call ourselves the Mac Foundation, by the way. We're, we're, we're our own wrestling faction. Uh, in honor of the Hart Foundation. And so um, we, uh, we went to SummerSlam, we Monday Night Raw, Extreme Rules, all this great shit. I mean, amazing stuff. So uh, I said, I've been really thankful for uh, wrestling, for the WWE, and for our, all of our wrestling adventures. I didn't explain that it's been a really wonderful kind of bonding experience with me and my kids, and they've been excited. I didn't explain that. I just said, I'm. I always <laughs> choke it. I choke at the Thanksgiving table the way I you choke on the air every Tuesday. <laughs> We're the same guy. So I, I'm like, I'm thankful for wrestling. Vince McMahon. Uh, Brock Lesnar. I'm, I'm thankful for that. I'm not saying like it's been really awesome and special that I've had these great adventures with my kids. So. Everyone, my whole family's like, Jesus fucking Christ, he still sucks. He's 40 years old, he can't do a good Thanksgiving thank you thing. And, and everyone's just like looking down at their food and usually people actually get applause and nothing. I could hear just like a spoon, like hitting the fucking uh, turkey dish or whatever the fuck. So um, then it goes to my son, Stanley. Uh-oh. Blows me out of the water with the following. What are you thankful for, Stanley? He goes, I'm thankful for freedom. I don't even know what it means. 
but my God, wow. was I bursting with pride. And I was like, that's like a fucking existential shit that I can't even rip, put my head around. I can't even put my head around that one, David. Like, I was like, what does that mean? He's just like, we're free. And I'm like, you little son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, here's sad? the sad thing. He practically got a standing ovation. He fucking outdid me by exponentially outdid me. Now he's getting a standing ovation from Flutzen. Fuck yeah, Stanley. She, yes, Big him. A. Um, did he uh, win the, the beanie cup? Oh, they gave him a beanie cup. He's already won it. I'm still not on the beanie cup. Do you know about this? It's a trophy that my family gives every once in a while when you do something special. And oh every single God. one of my brothers, Explains a lot. all of my brother's kids and my kids and my mom and dad have awarded it to all of the family and each other except for the Dave man. What the fuck? Here, after all this time, no beanie cup? I, I, I have done nothing with my life that's deserving. Well, probably not. The more I think about it, yeah, they're probably right. But one of these days, Mom and Dad, I'm going to win that fucking cup. And when I do, Mommy, I'm going to shove it straight up your ass. <laughs> and I'm going to say, I'm retiring from this family as champion. That's For real. All right? I am going to go out on top, motherfucker. Yeah, David, that's the way to See do it. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Floyd Mayweather, I'm gonna retire undefeated. I'm gonna win the cup, and I'm gonna hit my dad in the face with it, and shove it up my mom's pussy, Ow. and be like, I'm out. You don't have Dave to come around anymore. All right? All right. Well, you should I'm, be thankful I'm, I'm, for I'm, a son who's turning out better than you. I don't know, maybe. Well, my, all my <laughs> brothers have master degrees and shit. Like fucking a master's of business, a master's in journalism, a master's in this, a master's in that. Well, you have They're a master's I, in I'm, 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 I live in a family <laughs> with three good. fucking Yodas, and it's fucking uh, me, Davey. You have a master in masturbation. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> you know what? Master Bateration. <laughs> <would be. laughs> He's getting an ovation for that? Bullshit. <laughs> Like my Thanksgiving that's dinner all over my, again. That's gonna be my new thing, David. Every time I fucking love something. Did you just call me David, by the way? That yes. was very formal. That's what I. She's did. never called me David of all time. I actually time. didn't and even it, realize I called. David. I don't mind it. Roy, Roy calls me David Mr. plenty David. of times. I've called you David since day one, I think, because that's I like your it when, given when, name. when you treat me in a formal manner. <laughs> Absolutely, Mr. David. Thank you. <laughs> but her. Yeah, and how's that boyfriend? Did you spend it with your boyfriend, Flutzy? No. 42 years old this fucking guy is? Yeah, but we're breaking up, so it doesn't matter. Whoa! Oh. I knew it! I can feel it. She's hitting up Dave Man. Don't fucking Weinstein me. Don't reverse Weinstein me. Reverse Don't Weinstein? Don't grab my dick the way you did that one time when you were drunk. Or was that me grabbing your ass? Yeah, I get confused. <laughs> I'm a little dyslexic. Don't fucking very, Weinstein me, you're bitch. very dyslexic. Don't report me to fucking Twitter and with the, with the Me Too. With the Me Too hashtag. Well, do it. I'll tell Anthony. Either. I didn't do shit. Yeah, I've sent you a few shirtless pics. I've sent Roy some shirtless those, those pics. Those were the pre-Weinstein days. That's right. Yes. That was a pre-Weinstein era. That you were allowed to do. Era. Yeah, times were more loosey goosey. As A Rod said about the steroid era. <laughs> like that, that, that was A Rod uh, pretending that it was ever okay to do like massive amounts of human growth hor hor hormone. He's uh, doing an interview with Peter Gammon. He's like, times were loosey goosey, Peter. You know, it was that kind of era. Really? The fact that you shot your cock full of fucking uh, deer tranquilizer, whatever the fuck he was on. Um, you know uh, who is here to talk about uh, his uh, Thanksgiving? Who's that, David? Uh, is Shock Chock Robot. Get out of here. I swear to you. I wouldn't lie about that. I wouldn't lie about that. Shock Chock Robot, everyone. Hi, Shock Chock Robot. How was your Thanksgiving? Go fuck myself. Ouch. Okay. What, what are your favorite Thanksgiving traditions, SJR? You enjoy reenacting the great Native American genocide of the 1600s. All right. That's really bad. Okay. What? If the Dave man was a Native American, my Indian name would be Little Red Cock. I don't like that at all. So what, what is your Thanksgiving dinner like, SJR? Oh, you like it when your guests eat. Your ass. 
he likes it when his guests eat his ass. That's disgusting. Gross. What? Mayflower sounds like an English chick who lost her virginity in the spring. I don't even know what the... Uh, what was that last one? Plymouth Rock. More like Plymouth Cock. I don't know what that means. Huh? The only stuffing you make is the robot jism that you fill your guests with. Okay. That's fucking disgusting, you sick bastard. We have to... Last thoughts on uh, Thanksgiving, SJR? Oh, you'd like to give thanks to all the Mexicans who wash Thanksgiving dishes. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Uh, SJR, everyone. SJR. Get off your phone! <laughs> if you're late, you are if not I'm allowed late? to be on your phone. What is going on with you today? I was looking Briefly, up. explain to... why you're late. Briefly. I was riding my bike. Here. Start riding your dumb bicycle earlier, okay? Yes. And why are you on your phone constantly? Because I need to look something up for later. What, your flute song? Yeah. I swear to God, I hope she has the right song this time. Wait, right? did, you didn't give me a sure suggestion, do. so oh, I picked I something. I gave you a suggestion. I picked something all on my own. <laughs> um, Roy's had all kinds of controversy surrounding him. Another Want to discuss your meltdown, or have we concentrated enough on you? Well, that's up to you, David. Would you, you like to discuss show? it? Sure. Roy, Roy was left out of the big compound media picture. Thanksgiving picture. The Thanksgiving picture. Yeah. When was it? And I got text messages from Roy yeah. saying did, I'm... Did, did, was it a text or did I actually call you? Tag, I had to call you to oh, talk true. you down from a ledge, if you recall. The text messages I got were, <laughs> fuck this shit. I'm done. I'm done with this shit. Fuck all, everyone at compound media. Except Anthony. Yeah, you you weren't. Yeah, you 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 met this show. I met Allie actually. <laughs> <laughs> what picture was this? It was a Thanksgiving it was a picture. Thanksgiving picture. Oh, was there? That I didn't Mr. Know. Nailson, who does a great job, a wonderful with show. Photoshop. Yes. And in fact, he did. He's done some fantastic yeah. East Side Dave show photoshops with you in them. Of course. So he just happened to forget you yeah. in the big picture. He doesn't realize that I'm bipolar and I that is liable to set me off. He Roy's texting me at fucking I'm on the air <laughs> on 95.9 the rat and he's texting me furiously at nine o'clock in the morning. Fuck this! I'm never gonna set foot in that building again. And I'm like, if Pooh had his way, <laughs> I'd be a good kid. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to, that's the picture. There it is. You and see, there's me in the bottom corner. Where the fuck Spot am I? me in that photo. He, he no even way. put Bobo in it. He, he made it. I, no, in there. I haven't been here. No flutesy. Years. Even Beavis. Yep. I'm not even a, the fucking cat on the what, what the. what the hell is that? You're doing the dishes. I'm in not the even a, a plate. Well, that's because I'm you nothing. show up late. Maybe in the picture, you, you've showed up late to the picture. <laughs> yeah, I showed up late to the picture. <laughs> you know, that's your storyline. If outside. you showed up on time, you would have been in the fucking Actually, picture. You know what would be great? If my face was through the peeking through the I, window. I would like that. Like trying to Don't knock give inside. Mr. Nails in homework. But anyway, Mr. Nails in. He revised the photo. Uh, he did revise it. But uh, I literally had to call up Roy. And he was hopping mad. He yeah. goes, I'm fucking sick of this, Dave. He goes, I even donated an ISDN line, which is a radio technical item. <laughs> I, I donated an ISDN line to Compound Media. And that's how they treat me. I go, it was made no. by a fan. All this time I thought Why I was on my fucking... side. All this time I thought Allie was on my side, but no. She had nothing to do with the goddamn picture, you psycho. It, it was it was a fan, and a very good fan, right. who does good pictures. But tell him to rework it with me at the window. No! That'd be great! We don't tell the fans, rework your fucking photoshops. Yes, we do, when two people on one show You were are, late. Are filled with Roy Rage. Established. <laughs> I just, you know, it brings back, I harbor a lot of memories from Thanksgiving, me not being allowed to sit with the adults at the table. That <laughs> oh photo just happened God. to bring it all home. So That's it right I there. Apologize. Oh, wait, that's the revised one. You can see Roy is right behind Aaron Berg. Yeah, oh, he, this really poor really bastard <laughs> literally got threatened by Roy. Get me off the fucking kitchen. Put me at the adult He's table. Threatening people. That this this wonderful person, may I add, Mr. Nailson, you bullied him. You're a oh fucking God. internet bully. That's you amazing. You bullied this poor son of a bitch. I want to bully him too. You leave him alone. If you do, I swear to God. Dave, the old pic had 500 likes. 
the new Roy pick has two likes. <laughs> and I'm one of them, David. <laughs> because nobody notices them. And by the way, I'm one of them. Yeah. Roy was such a fucking ape shit bonkers freakazoid yeah. that I had to unlike and unretweet the original Mr. Nails It pick. <laughs> Did you really? Because, yeah, you gave me shit in a text. Do you remember that? I, Were you fucking high? Seriously. Was, now I want to know. It was like 7 in the morning. I'm always it, angry at 7 in the morning. It feels like you don't remember these texts. You got mad at me. He gets mad at me. 7 He goes, and you, Dave, you retweeted this? You retweeted this picture? I'm like, what the... If I'm... It, yes, I didn't even notice. I don't know if you've noticed, but if you speak to me or talk to me any time before 9 a.m., I'm angry. That's just the way I operate. Well, that's a good way to behave, Dracula. <laughs> the fucking world is awake and rolling at well, 7 o'clock. I knew I was laughing and at you're it. lying. Oh, sure. It was 9 a.m. Well, what time? I already established that. Well, what time? How long did it take before I realized, oh, my God, Dave, this is ridiculous. I can't believe how angry I am over this silliness. A how good long? 15 minutes of back and forth text minutes. before I finally had to say, I'm going to call you. Yeah. When the goddamn radio show is over, <laughs> I'll give you a call for Christ's sakes. Oh man! You need to thank you, thank you. And then he's 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 yelling. I can, I can tell he's on his phone, pacing back and forth the whole time in the fucking crazy Roy mood. <laughs> Phil, so so did that fill you with something? Fill me with Roy rage. <laughs> Mr. Nailsen, you filled him with Roy rage. Congratulations. <laughs> I want to thank Mr. Nails in because I thought it was a delightful picture, and I would have loved uh, that uh, to be at that Thanksgiving dinner because I'm pretty sure those people wouldn't have given me shit. Like my family gives me shit every fucking day. And yeah, it's true. I choke on the Thanksgiving thank yous. I'm like goddamn Bill Buckner with the ball through the legs. I don't know what that means. Sp <laughs> He's a famous baseball player. Oh. World Series, 1986. Nope. Bobo? Bobo? Explain uh, it to him. A four-year-old me was there. You were in the in the Shea Stadium during game six of the 86 World Series. Yep. I really? Was there. Me and my mom. Hold on a second, Bobo. How much dick did your mom have to suck to get those tickets? I mean, let's be honest here. What um, where, where where is he going? <laughs> this is notice something interesting behind Bobo's ear here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh. <laughs> Will you please sit down? <laughs> I didn't want it. I... <coughs> Roy. I enjoy it. Are you Steve. here? Are, is is any uh, semblance of actual Roy Harder here? Fifty percent. When we discuss what's going to happen, poop because, threw me off a little because bit. Because there is a fucking thing that says card trick. And it was established before the show that when I want you to do the card trick, I'm going to tap it. Oh, Remember yes. that? You did, tell, you did actually say that, David. <laughs> you did say that. You're right. My bad. My bad. I was trying to talk to this poor bad. I swear to God, if Lucy doesn't put her phone down, I'm going to strangle this bitch. Will you leave the phone alone, please? Why? Please. Why? <laughs> because we're doing a thing called a fucking show. And I don't take kindly to that. You're interrupting the show. By telling me to the stop. East Side Dave is interrupting his uh, I swear <laughs> to God, I'm going to be like poo. I'm going to drop F bombs on all you sons of bitches <laughs> if you don't straighten up. Okay? I'm straight. Turn the phone around and don't worry about it. You know what you do with these phones? You put them down. Simple as that. You don't see me holding no phones. Eight points for you, pal. Thank you, big A. Eight points for him. Um. <laughs> Well, I got to say that my life has been ruined, okay? I came in in a great mood, a great mood, because, uh, I don't know, New York City, December time, all that shit. I love this time of year when it's fucking uh, the, 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 the holiday season in New York. It's fantastic. And then I have to get a bulletin from ESPN on my phone that says... The Giants head coach, Ben McAdoo, has benched Eli fucking Manning for this Sunday's game. Or as I call him, Ben Fuckadoo. Because let me explain something to This is a guy, Eli Manning, who has won two Super Bowls. Who? Has been the Super Bowl MVP both times. Two times. In those 
two playoff runs. He's thrown one interception in eight games. The Giants would not have won the Super Bowl without ridiculously stellar play from Eli Manning. Furthermore, he has a 210 goddamn consecutive game streak going on. Those hundreds. And he sits fucking Eli Manning for Geno Smith? What the fuck, Bobo? It is utter bullshit. There you go. Ben McAdoo? More like Ben McAdult. <laughs> Yep. This is like Ben Macadildo. Yep. Not really. Ben Macadu. Right. More like Ben Macadouche. <laughs> Good. <laughs> You're fucking ben Macadu. More like Ben. <laughs> fuck face. Ben Macadu. More good. like Ben Back a dick. <laughs> ben Macadu. More like Ben Mac a jerk. You got one more? Because I like yours better. Uh, ben McAdoo more like Ben back of shit. Yeah. <laughs> 15 points. Oh, and I actually oh. prefer Ben Ben back of shit. Yep. Okay. Ben back of shit. Guess what, pal? Guess what, fuckball? You've made the Shizer list. Shizer! Shizer! You're the one that we need that's right, he looks exactly like Ed Rooney. Okay, Ben Bag of Shit, you, Ed Rooney, stop fucking touching kids and get the fuck off the Giants. I am calling for the immediate resignation of Ben McAdoo, the immediate re resignation of General Manager Jerry Reese, or I will never watch another Giants football game again. Boycott! Boycott, Big A! Yes. Boycott. Are you boycotting with me? I ain't watching this Sunday, bro. I'm boycotting Sunday's game. I ain't watching. Are you? You're, you're not gonna watch. All right. Nope. Come that over time to my when house. the game's on, I am gonna just just come over to my house. All right. And we're just gonna watch. You know, like uh, Boogie Nights naked. And if we get turned on, we get turned on. Especially by Roller Girl. And I'm not gay or anything, but just give me a hand job when Roller Girl is getting naked. Okay. Okay. By the way, I'm following Heather Graham on Instagram, and uh, Insta Heather Graham, yeah. was that okay? Yeah. That's good. Like, okay. Um, I'm following her on Instagram, That's and good. I, I am almost positive we're going to be a couple soon. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, I, David. Yeah. That's Maybe good. I, I yeah. fapped to have Heather Graham in that scene in Boogie Nights <laughs> every time I've watched the movie. You jerked off? What was it? Fap? Fapped. What does that mean again? Because I know I've heard that word before. but I don't know. I've heard someone say that, <laughs> say that when they were. I heard someone on the internet when, when, say uh, the word someone fap. Was tell, when I was talking about when I was admitting that I jacked off to some chick on Fox News. Yeah. And she said, oh, you've, you, you've uh, fapped to. <laughs> what uh, happened here? Someone I didn't said hear to this me, story. Oh, you fap to uh, Joanne. Who did you uh, jerk off the Fox News, Sean Hannity? No, this was a girl by oh. the name of Joanne <laughs> Nozinski who's not on that network oh, okay. anymore. Bill O'Reilly, though. How many no. times you spanked it to him? <laughs> no, I never have. Never? Never have. What about Geraldo? Uh, no, never have. Anything? No. You know Geraldo's real name is Jerry Rivers? Come on. He added the fucking uh, Latina thing just to make it sound cooler. Come on. His real name is Jerry Rivers. Oh, my God. Geraldo Rivera. I bought a fucking I, sham like the rest of them. I've also jacked it to uh, Catherine Temp. <laughs> Cat Timp? Yep. Oh. Who else have you jacked? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just, just keep going just, now. Yeah, you're on a roll. Mine as well. I mean, do you have anyone, anyone else? Uh, Keith, in this room? Keith Hernandez? No, I never have. <laughs> Eric Lindros? No, I never have. Okay. Any males? Just be honest. No, I never have. Really? I never have. Flutzy. Yes. You ever jerk off to two guys banging a chick, double penetration type of thing? Mm -hmm. That ever happened to you? Yeah. What? Oh. You sick, perverted degenerate. Am I? You want to get double dicked? If I you, don't. If you could get well, double maybe. dicked by know, any two people at Compound Media, who would they be? No. Hey, doesn't it need to be the Side Dave the Show? The answer is no. No one? Doesn't need to be this show. Anyone at Compound Media at all. Nah, I don't fuck people I work with. But you don't work with uh, In Hot Water or Artie and Anthony. The potential to see them is good enough. All right. Well, thanks for being fun. Let's go back to Bobo. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> she just hits the brakes on shit, doesn't you she? You should have fucking She's went amazing. off the other track She's, instead of bringing amazing. it to compound. You're great. Um, Thank you.
Oh, God. I'm so upset at this fucking banning of Elon. It's like fucking banning Forrest Gump for crying out loud. Mm. And the last time I checked, that stupid motherfucker uh, uh, got a lot of touchdowns for Alabama. Did he not, Big A? Yes, he did. The guy was getting all kinds of fucking runbacks for touchdowns, running through the tunnel and shit. Yes, Mr. Champion. Yeah, a lot of Dr. Peppers at, at, at the White House. Remember that part? Yep. Setting. I'm upset by this. Well, don't let it get you down, David. I don't know what to do here, Roy. So all these things are going on. Um, Roy. Uh, <laughs> yes, David. How are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to do a song or go to Flutzy's, uh song game? Because uh, she's, uh, I think it's just it's time for her to do her song. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yes, it is. Let's go. Flutzy song game. Crazy Puerto Rican plays the flute. You're going to need to grab a chair. You're going to need to grab a chair. You first. smell good, though, for, so, for someone who is riding a bicycle. You smell good for a change. This is awesome. Um, okay, so let's... Uh, now, you have a song. Mm -hmm. Okay. How come things aren't working out with you and your boyfriend? Whatever. No, but why? Uh, listen, you no can't... No one knows you this guy. You can't help people who just don't want to fucking be helped, so fuck it. Oh, uh, drug addict? That kind of thing? No. I would, not, I would not date a drug addict. Alcoholic? No. Nor an alcoholic. <laughs> I don't know what that meant, but it sounded ominous. Um, okay, do you have a song? Do you have a song? Yes. <laughs> Are we on a delay with her today? Are, is she, like, actually, like, uh, on the show from Moscow? And there's, like, a... <laughs> what the hell's going on with you tonight? I have to think. Well, fuck about thinking. thinking. Just talk. Think. Okay, all right. All right, go ahead. Play the song. And uh, call in if you uh, want to be a participant in this game. 877-962-6846. Guess the song. Guess the movie that it's from. You win a prize. That's all I'm gonna play. That's good. <laughs> I know it. I know that one instantly. That was a really good you one. You know it? I certainly do. Okay. That one's famous. Do you approve? I do approve of this because you've had Finally. some very questionable songs. In it. Why? The Notebook? People got that. No. Somebody won, didn't they? No, they didn't. The and, and no, no one guessed no? No one guess that. No one guessed the, the fucking Hunger Games. And it, by the way, another controversy Sharon emerged. Did. Someone, uh, it's been found out that she had done. The Hunger Games. Yeah, Sharon. Last week that. when she did the hun Hunger Games, it was actually the second time she's done it. Oh. Can you? Yeah. Right. Yeah. See, you see my point? Kill me. You see my point, Roy? Sure do, David. But nobody remembered except Sharon. Okay. So, uh, 877-962-6846. Now, there is someone on the phone, and uh, I guess she wants to play the game, or maybe she doesn't. I have no idea. But we're going to go to her anyway. Her name is Lady Trucker. Is this... Truth here, Lady Trucker. Good oh. evening, Davy Mac. It is Lady Trucker, the real Lady Trucker. Wow, fantastic that yeah. you're calling the Side Dave Show. Um, I'm gonna go nuts because I know the tune, but I don't know the movie. Aw, uh, yeah, well, I know the movie. Well, why don't you take a guess anyway? Uh, 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 that's the first thing. Is Born Free? It's not Born Free. Some seventies movie. Some 70s movie. Okay, um, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take your truck, steer it into <laughs> oncoming traffic, and get the fuck off my phone! Get her off, Garrett! Get her the fuck off the phone! Thank you for calling. I appreciate you. Because if so you can't guess this movie, yeah, you might be brain dead. <laughs> she I'm not going to lie. Ed, Florida. Let's do it. Mr. Mr. Champion, good evening, sir. You know what? Already you're starting with five points. And, uh, Flutzy, nice ass. Would you, <laughs> Flutzy, Thank nice you very ass. much. Would you like to hear the song again? 
Thank you. I think I got this one. I'm ready when you are. Go. Oh, well, we're ready when you are. Very prepared, this gentleman. Can I get a, let's say, Chariots of Fire? Chariots of Fire! Ready, Ed. Wait for Ed. Go ahead. Play it again. on the beach? That was a great part. Yeah, da, 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 da. the champion. It is a champion. And I don't know if you're on Twitter, but if you are, feel free to change your Twitter profile to the Eastside Dave Show November 20... What is today's date? 28th. The 28th. November 28th, champion, Ed. And uh, do we have any shirts left, Garrett? I think so. Ed, stay on hold because you're going to oh, receive. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Champion. I appreciate it. Love you're, you, Flute Suit. Aw, you're welcome. welcome. Hey, hey, everyone. That was so nice. What a prepared gentleman, you know? He did a good job. He wasn't high. He wasn't drunk. Next week, are we going to get stripes? Because I sort of said stripes. But I also remember saying charge of fire, so I'm not going to yell at you for that. Every time you give it away, I'm not going to do it. Oh. It has to be a surprise. Why? I mean, why does it really have to be a surprise? It's our game. This ain't no, like, fucking game on the goddamn game show network or something. I mean, who gives a fuck? People get prizes. It needs to be surprised. All right. But, I mean, what are the chances? Uh, our audience is going to remember one week to the next. I it's mean, a good you're, you're assuming a lot. People like to play the game. I don't remember one week from the next. There's all these people. I barely even remember Roy's name. What's, what's your name? Guy who gets yelled at by the security guard? I just call myself Eastside Dave. He really gets us thrown. It's <laughs> <laughs> gotten, gotten me this far. Oh, man. I know. If you steal my identity and get me in trouble. Man, Pooh was angry. I am going to be very upset at you. He was Pooh is not with Roy at all. Oh, not at all. That was the funniest goddamn thing of all time. I wish you I was there. You see him hop up. You, you, you fucking blind! Huh? You read the sign! No, honestly, you were creating quite the ruckus. You're <laughs> How did that happen? Open the goddamn door. The thing is clearly bolted to it. <laughs> then you finally <laughs> literally rip. You must have broken a hinge. No. You knocked the parking cone over. You didn't put it back up. I have a history with those kind of doors, actually. At, at my studio downstairs, I actually, after 11 p.m., they locked the doors, and I pulled on that door so hard, I shattered it. <gasps> I went upstairs to the studio. I came down about four hours later, probably 3 in the morning. The cops were outside waiting for me. No. Why are they waiting for you? How would they possibly know yeah, how you? I was breaking in. They thought I was literally breaking in. I, I pulled on the door so you hard. You were inside when you What did happened? I stepped in. And I went to work. I came back and all the... There, there was a oh. Family for me upstairs. I was like, guys, wow. I'm sorry. I'm a tenant. They let me go, but they took all my info. I'd never heard anything wow. back about it. Wow. Wow, so really? With these kind of doors. <laughs> With no. these kind of doors, you just mean doors. History. Yeah. It's you're talking about history. Doors are your uh, <laughs> Achilles heel, huh? <laughs> doors. <laughs> How are you with windows? Yeah. Since we're fucking uh, <laughs> talking about <laughs> rugs, How windows have you carpets, shattered? are you okay with them? <laughs> Dresser drawers, how about them? Uh, yes, well, big A. Uh, uh, well, bubble. I don't know. No, but he left a fucking Maybe he went to open. take a shit. <laughs> All right, look, we have a sponsor, believe it or not. I know it's hard to believe. DeepDiscount.com! A loyal sponsor to my show! It's a great website loaded with video games, CDs, vinyl, DVDs, Blu-rays, and more. They have a bunch of my favorites, including... Guardians of the Galaxy, that's right, and so many more awesome titles. Tens of thousands of titles are on sale right now. During their Cyber Week sale, you can get new releases too, like Mogan Lucky, starring Channing T Tanner and Adam Driver. Ch Channing Tatum, maybe? Tanner. Tanner. Anyway, it comes out this week, and you can get your copy now on Blu-ray and DVD for a great price. Just click the Deep Discount logo found on our website. Jumpstart your holiday shopping and find a great gift at a great price, too. No need to leave the house. It's cold out there. The savings are right at your fingertips. Just click the Deep Discount logo found on our website. Be sure to look for special coupon codes and icons 
for extra savings, especially this week during their Cyber Week sale. Save time, save money, support our sponsor, check it out now, and thank you to Deep Discount. Oh. Very good reading, David. Thank you. Why, why are you Except when you fucked up. Why are you still sitting? <laughs> the guy's well, name is Channing Tatum, isn't it? Is there a, ch a Tanner? There's no ch Channing Ta Tanner. I can't even fucking say it because yeah, the no. guy doesn't exist. Who the hell wrote that copy? That would be me, David. <laughs> <laughs> you keep Roy away from the copy, gentlemen. Please, you and lady. Purposely just mess and him doors up every and week. windows and, and doors and windows. Doors and windows. Copy. <laughs> Pick a, he loves a pile on. He huh? does. He loves Good. a pile on Roy. You guys have a rivalry that <laughs> one day is going to turn real. Oh, he doesn't know me. I see it a <laughs> thousand miles away. He thinks I'm this happy-go-lucky yeah, guy. He hasn't I seen me angry yet. Well, I do remember the one show where you yelled at Big A afterwards, and I was like, Oh God, please don't. Well, let me be out of the room before you do this. Remember that? Day? I yes. remember that so yes. vividly. There was uh. <laughs> Erwin Thomas yeah. was doing this heartfelt musical song, and Big A picked the puppet up and was making the puppet dance. Yeah. And Roy well, I was. I don't like puppets himself. dancing, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing sets me up like a like dancing a phobia? puppet. Yeah, I got a thing with dancing puppets. I think Erwin Thomas would have would have been okay with Probably it. Would have been, but I wasn't. Okay. <laughs> ah, I understand. You want guests to be treated respectfully. I like to. I, like to I, I don't think it was the dancing. At some point, I think. A, another audience member pretended to have sex with the puppet, and that's when you lost your cool. That might have been it. Yeah, that was when it went. Big A was the closest target, so yeah. I, I did, in fact. But don't take it personally, Big A. Roy's cool with you, I think. We're about to fight. Footsie, everyone! Footsie! Footsie! She's a wonderful person, huh? That flutesy. What up? So I can't believe she's gonna break up with her boyfriend. You know why? Why is that? He's uh. not. He's not. He's not dicking her right. Is that the truth? Be honest. I didn't say anything like that. <laughs> um, got a uh, question from a gentleman named uh, Dob Baniero, oh. which is pretty close to Bob De Niro, and I guess he's doing that on purpose. I don't think Dob Baniero is his actual name. Okay. John, do you have this? Uh, he asks me uh, on Twitter in the uh, direct message section, <laughs> ESD, serious question, are you bipolar? <laughs> what? That's what he asked me. Serious he said that to the wrong guy. Are you bipolar? Yeah. And I, I have no idea. What, I think That's of myself crazy. as a happy uh, guy and, Roy, stop fucking around! <laughs> but honestly, I mean, like, you know, me, I mean, the Dave man. I'm friendly to people. I'm just like, Flutie, shut the fuck up! Um, do you think I'm bipolar? Once in a while. <laughs> Who's more bipolar, me or Roy? Big A. <laughs> Roy Harder. Roy Harder is. Mm -hmm. Who's more bipolar? It means, uh... Ah, uh, you. <laughs> Bobo? I would guess Roy. <laughs> that means Roy's more bipolar. Yeah. Well, okay. that one coming so I'm glad that settled. <laughs> bipolar. Well, I'll tell you, after these text messages on Friday or whenever it was, last Wednesday when the fucking Thanksgiving picture went up, yeah, you're bipolar. Definitely bipolar. You have some serious issues. You have to refrain from, from going on the internet in general, but especially in the AM hours. Exactly. That's okay. True. That is one hundred. Don't true. go on the goddamn internet. Stay Can't away from Reddit. I know that you're a you're a you're a Reddit head or whatever the fuck they're called. Those Redditors. Are my friends. Those are my buddies. My boys on Reddit. It, yeah, all right. it does is aggravate you, and then you misplace your anger <laughs> on me and 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 the fucking and Allie. Oh, Allie, trust me. Oh, he was all pissed off. Oh yeah. I he mean, said. And why would Compound Media retweet that fucking picture when I'm not in it? Yeah, I just wanted you to notice that I didn't retweet the new picture either, so... Fuck you, Roy. Double fingers. Oh, he made me oh, as, oh, twice as mad. He's giving you the Stone Cold salute right now. <laughs> the people at home. It's going like this to him in the booth. You, Allie. She, she does not care. And I don't blame her. I don't either. I'm on sure. Allie's side. I'm actually on Allie's side as well, David. <laughs> A bit of my bipolar coming through. Well, again. maybe go see a therapist. Is that a That's possibility? That's why I'm on the show. What's happening with your eyeballs? You oh, told I, me that. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm actually having one of them removed. 
My right eye is going to be, be taken out. you be serious for a I'm second? I'm serious. I have to re uh, reattach some muscles in my eyes. So I have to remove it, attach the muscles again so I can fucking see normal again. Big operation coming up. Wait, what? They're doing <laughs> what to your eyes? You're, I know you're getting eye surgery. I know that part is legitimate. I'm going to take out an eye and reattach the muscles to it so that it's straight, so I'm aligned again. You're not going to take out your fucking eyeball. Oh, no, they are. They actually are, yeah. I have some you're going to be fucking blind, eye. bro. Just for like a couple days. Hopefully it's during the show. What are they going to do with the oh eyeball? This isn't true. Why am I even playing along with this? <laughs> it's what? totally true, Dave. I'm not even bullshitting. They're not getting Science can't fucking take out an eyeball and put it back in. Well, it's well, not like they're they putting can, a bionic actually. eye in. They're just reinserting the eye once they attach the muscles again. They're going to take off your but eyeball. Temporarily, yeah. they can t they can take it out of the socket. Hell no, they can't. But they can't. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. I'm sure, we have no optetricians watching the Eastside Dave show. <laughs> but I pray if one is, please call in. I cannot believe this in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting operation. And you know, the best you part need about to take it, a fucking selfie with you when you oh don't have an God. eyeball. Here's the thing. That will be the they, greatest picture ever. They actually asked me if I'd like to stay awake for the entire operation. Yes. I said, well, I'm going to have to think about that one, but. But why not? If you do, you will have nightmares for the rest of your life. Oh my it's god. It's gonna be like fucking Terminator, dude. Oh, it's wild, huh? Wait, you wait, really? You should get a Terminator eyeball, like a red robot eye. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like the goddamn fucking piano playing Terminator. That would be the greatest look of all time. Oh my god, that's crazy. If you slowly become a cyborg, honestly, I will give you eight points. <laughs> now what you need is a laser eye. Oh, 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 he's jumping on Roy now. Oh. I like it, Bo. That's that crazy. Little... When is this happening? Here, Bo. Bo, what would happen, Bo, if they chit? The fuck is he doing? He's coming. <laughs> Are you? Oh, okay. Oh, I thought he was coming I at me. I never know here. if a Stevie Lou incident was exactly. gonna happen. I was just gonna talk to him over there, but he he saw an opening and he ran for it. He's sure <laughs> better than most Giants running backs, for Christ's sake. <laughs> he just gained 35 yards on that play. <laughs> this is the longest run I've seen all season. <laughs> uh, I was just going to talk to you over there, but if you'd like to sit next to the Dave man, help yourself with some Jameson if you want. All right? Let's get you fucking all hammered, and then maybe you and Flutzy finally become an item. Because I think Compound Media would love that. You guys would be a power couple, as far as I'm concerned. What if they changed your last name, Bo? What, this is just off the top of my head. What if they changed it to Nur? Bo, what would your name be then? It would be Boner. Yeah! <laughs> I got him, Ron! I fucking got him! Boner! You said boner! You said it! <laughs> you just keep going with the show, man. <laughs> All right, we some of us need love over here. It's been a long time since I had human contact. <laughs> Sitting with my bow, making out, kissing and loving, spit in the mouth, let's spit. Okay, this has gone way too far. <laughs> he spit a little bit in my fucking mouth. <laughs> it was supposed to be a gag. A sick bastard. Holy fuck, fuck. <laughs> Oh, man. I tell you, he smells nice, though. Yeah. All the, the, the good odor points that I awarded you, Flutzy, I'm taking and giving to him. He's, he's wearing something. What is that, like an aftershave type of deal? Yeah. It's, it's good. Aqua Velva. Aqua Velva? Yeah. They're still yeah, in existence. Like um, would you like to uh, do a song now, Roy? All right, because I know you do. Same song that I'm thinking of. The U2 song. All right. Okay? Garrett knows. Garrett knows the order. But apparently you don't. Remember when uh, a couple weeks ago he said, I wish you had told me this before. <laughs> that was so good. Okay. What's going on over there? It is the Eastside Dave show as we gear up for the holidays. And we just try to make it to Christmas alive. That's all we're trying to do on this show. Just make it the Christmas alive. One more Christmas with my kids. That's all I want. Just one more Christmas. And then I'm good to go, okay? All right, Roy? Right Sound good to you? I hear you, yeah. Cold and December day, touched the ground at JFK. Snow was melting on the ground. BLS, I heard the sound of an angel. New York, 
like a Christmas tree. Tonight this city belongs to me, that angel. So Sounds like a symphony. We got John Coltrane, Love Supreme. Miles says you got to be an angel. Lady Day got diamond eyes. She sees the truth behind the lies. That angel. So love this love. Right to yell at you. I don't blame you. I mean, either. the song went well. The ending, though. The ending was all, our endings are always horrible. <laughs> I've definitely noticed that. Our ending is horrible. <laughs> I'm on point. It's not the easiest thing like that fucking potato eating yeah, son of a is. bitch. I'll tell you that much right now. Um, a big thank you to. Remember we had Kurt Angle? Oh, yeah. Great guest. On the show? The wrestler. He was great. WWE Hall of Famer. That was actually a scoop. We had Kurt Angle on the East Side Dave show. You can Huge. see the whole entire clip on YouTube, by the way. He's got like 100,000 followers. Yeah, go to East Side, way more than that. He has a million followers, bro. There you go. <laughs> it's uh, on East Side Dave TV on YouTube. Make sure you're subscribing to that. But um, Kurt Angle was at I Play America in Freehold, New Jersey. I took the Mac Foundation there. Here's a picture of uh, us right there. Look at oh, that. Look at that. And we're all wearing wrestling shirts, too. It's a team. Okay. Austin 316, Juliana, she's... Flutzy is going to not relinquish her phone today. It's going to... Dealing crazy. with shit, Dave. What, what, is something wrong? You're what? allowed to tell me if something is the matter. Because it's highly distracting. When I'm looking for give and take, are you... Uh, is, is something... you have a personal issue? Maybe it's Keith texting her not to drink in the studio. <laughs> oh. Maybe. Ah. Garrett, five points for that shit. <laughs> Are you okay? You have something. I'm serious. I'm concerned about you. Fine. She doesn't, she's, something is wrong and she just won't uh, say, you don't have to oh, tell she's... me what it is. Just say, I'm dealing with some shit. Are I you just did. <laughs> I mean, are you dealing with serious shit or just, is it the fucking, I mean, uh, is it silly shit? It's not silly, but it's not like life or death. Okay. <sighs> Kurt Angle is uh, fucking there. He did a Q&A. Where's that picture again? Look at that. Isn't that spectacular? There's Kurt Angle. Those are my two children, by the way. Beautiful family. By the way, I love this photo because like honestly, you could totally crop me out, yeah. and it looks like Kurt Angle his and his two kids. <laughs> like he looks way more like the dad of those children yeah. than me. You look like the cat. I'm on the fucking side. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> there's Kurt. There's that Daddy. Is so funny. There's new uh, Daddy, Kurt Angle McDonald, yeah. and Stanley Mac and Juliana Mac, the new Mac Foundation. You are. Boy, they've upgraded. Kurt hey, they, they went from some shit fuck named Eastside Dave to Kurt. Angle. You are the father. <laughs> 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 but uh, there was a Q and A before uh, the picture, and uh, people were asking Kurt Angle uh, some questions. You were allowed to ask him questions. Yeah. 
And uh, there's a storyline that goes, it's going on with the WWE right now. Okay. And that is that Kurt Angle has an illegitimate black son. <laughs> he just happens to be a wrestler in the WWE. You see where this is going. Obviously, it's a storyline. It's not real. But um, he, uh, <laughs> the guy's name is Jason Jordan, right? All right. Recently, he was smashed through a table by this other big wrestler named Braun Strowman. Anyway, this, uh, this woman... Uh, gets up. She's got to be 45, 50 years old. Right. And she goes, "What, Mr. Angle, big fan, were you upset when your son was injured by Braun Strowman after he <laughs> put him through a table? <laughs> to Kurt Angle's credit, he went with it for exactly 30 seconds. He goes, well, um, no parent wants to see their kid get hurt. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm, but like, I don't want to laugh out loud. So my trick when I don't want to laugh in public is I bite my oh, tongue. Look, yeah. I, he, the way he was going with it, I was biting my tongue so hard, blood <laughs> streaming down my fucking mouth like I was the goddamn Joker. Finally, 30 seconds later, he's like, listen, uh, I can't anymore. Lady, this is wrestling. <laughs> it's make believe. Oh my God. Oh, Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle, he's so Nonsense good. Nonsense he has to deal with, huh? I can't believe it. I can't believe the nonsense that gentleman has to deal with. Um, as Mike Francesa winds down, and that's very upsetting, very depressing to me, um, Mike Francesa uh, re recently got a phone call from someone who said that, I guess they said uh, he looks like a fish. <laughs> I, I, I don't know uh, how to feel about this. Let's go to the tape. Then. I mean... Uh, if the phone call is as good as that description, I don't listen to these anymore. I get them sent by a million people, and then they're like, "You got I'm like, I gotta hear it, but live on the air. All right. Mike Francesa apparently looks, he does have a fish look to him, though. If you actually think about it. I've seen him like first a flounder. Hand. Yeah. You know, like wide or wide mouth, uh, mouth bass. You know what I mean? Johnny, you got that shit? Ago, you said about Mike McCurry, the ex NFL referee who he really wasn't a good. Michael, uh, Mike, Mike Harry, yes. Mike, and, uh... I said he wasn't well, good on TV, yes. Right, he wasn't good on TV. Right. But it was his first, really his first year. And I remember when you well, came He out was on first, two years. Right. right. Okay, he was on two years. But right. I remember when you first came out, I used to watch you all the time. Yeah. You used to open your mouth like a fish. <laughs> oh, you know what? I was, you know what? Here's the thing. I don't know what you remember or don't remember. But I go, was terrific from day one on no, the air. No, go to the tapes. Hey, man, I don't have to go to the tapes. I don't have to go to the tapes. I'm a broadcaster, man. I mean, what do you, you know, Mike Carey is a referee, and that's why. And that's why he's not doing it anymore. Okay, that's all. Not everybody is not. Nobody's equipped. Not everybody's equipped to do it. You know, some people awesome. are good at it. Pereira is good this at is it. The, all right. I'm that's gonna, the best phone call I have heard. Which one is better? The, when the guy called up. Uh, asking Mike thoughts and opinions on Charles Manson's death, which was fucking hysterical. That one was pretty or good. Or the though. fish guy. That was really good. The fish guy is my favorite. What, what do you mean? Wait, wait. Okay, like, okay. Okay, wait a second. Okay. Okay, what do you mean? Like, like, like a shark? Okay. Okay, like, what, what? Oh, oh, okay, wait a second. Like, okay. Like, you're gonna, okay. Like, you're gonna cut open, okay? Mike Francesa, okay? And the little kitten boy, okay? He's gonna spill all over the dock, okay? Okay, like, 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 you know, like a big, fat, white shark, okay? Like, oh, okay, like, 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 okay, like, this was not a propeller accident, okay? Okay? This is a shark attack, okay? This is a Mike Francesa attack, okay? Okay. Fuck off, America. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I have lost train of thought. That's okay. She, 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 it's almost like you're trying to play a game. Can you not text or do you not realize you're doing this? No, I know you I'm don't want to be put world. on the spot, but we're doing a live show right now. Yes. Is everything all right? I'm concerned about you. Or I'm concerned I'm that fine. maybe, what? You, you're, you're okay? Yes, everything's fine. Oh, my God. I feel concerned. Of course you do. We should all feel concerned. <laughs>
Well, it's it's now like it's it's, right. if, if you need to leave, I'm not that, not say I'm not kicking you off. I'm not <laughs> saying leave by any means necessary. I'm saying maybe you should make a phone call. Is that is that is that important to you or no? No, I don't need to make a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. I can't figure out what's happening. Well, Do you want to discuss it at all? No. You can discuss it in a roundabout way, or you don't want to. Oh. No. Okay. All right. Thank you. This is very odd. What do you think's happening? Maybe, maybe the Indian guy yelled at her too. What is it? Yeah, Allie? was it poo? Allie, can you just say it on the air? Um, maybe she's on her period and she doesn't want to oh, talk about it. Oh, she's on her period. That came from a woman. So <laughs> if they, are we I we're allowed to say that? That's I, fantastic. That's uh, that's on you. Really? <laughs> I don't touch that. Right, one. I mean, not my words, Allie's. Are you on the rag right now? Are you bleeding? Because I'm guess actually not doing anything to anybody. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> okay, Bobo, what do you think? What do you think? Maybe after the show, you should hug her. You know what? I take that back. Don't fucking touch her, okay? Because we don't need some goddamn Weinstein incident. Okay, leave her. That's In true. fact, Bobo, please leave before she leaves. Because I feel like there's going to be some weird fucking contact between you and her later on this, this evening. Okay? <laughs> yeah, sure. Go for it. Want a little cheering up? Oh, cheer up, Roy. Cheer her what? up. Oh, my because God. Because she's fucking lost tonight. It is so weird. A little something behind her ear, David. What's that, Roy? He <laughs> did a card trick. Now that makes it all better. I figured it out. Uh, that was a good one. At that first, was I much was better than the other amazed. five times you did it today. Getting good, huh? Not really. A copper feel? Um, <laughs> a copper feel? <laughs> oh, cup my goodness feel? gracious. Copper feel? Copper feel? feel? Leave her alone. Um, <laughs> I think I think Roy's taking that act to the E train tonight. Oh my God, that's funny. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I like. He, it. He, he's, <laughs> he's calling you one of those fucking homeless subway Platform type performers. performers. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but me and you, you Bobo, understand that. I got a bit worked out. Me and you were gonna do it tonight on the train. What are you guys gonna do? Why not do it right now? That car tricks. Funny. I'm gonna I'm gonna basically dazzle them with my car tricks. You only have the one trick, the fucking card behind the ear. Well, I'm Stop doing that. Lying. Bobo's gonna pick their pockets. <laughs> with Bobo, me, Bobo. You can handle that, right? Yep. Bobo, any money you make, give Dave Man fifty percent. Okay. Remember, okay. we're trying to get on the fan together. Okay. Because I I still don't understand why what WFAN is doing. I mean, they they're 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 the the fucking replacing Francesa with with a guy with with a guy from Philadelphia, some chick and a former football player. They don't fucking compare to Dave and Bobo on the fan. Am I right about this? Oh, definitely right about yep. that. Right? Yep, I'm right. right. What do you Let's do a little fucking thing right now. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. It didn't take long. Every time I talk to him, he just runs off. No, but seriously, dude. <laughs> what do you think about this fucking Ben McAdoo, the Giants head coach, who is benching Eli? You know who should be benched? Ben McAdoo! And he should be benched forever and thrown in the goddamn Hudson River. He's yep. gonna bench Eli fucking Manning? Last time I checked, Eli had two Super Bowls. How many did Ben McAdoo have, bro? None. Zero. Zero. Right? Yep. Well, what should happen to Ben McAdoo then? Ben McAdoo slip. <laughs> huh? He should Ben McAdoo slip. Oh, like on some ice or something? Yeah. Okay. Like, he should have the same kind of injury that happened to my mother. Oh. How's your mom doing? Uh, still recovering from that uh, that injury. Let's be honest. Could your mom send me some pics of her? How old's your sister, by the way? Uh, my sister, I can't say an age, but she's in her early 20s. Oh, she's of age. Yeah, she is. Any chance you could put in a word for me with her to send me pics? I'd be up for pics from your mom or your sister. I'll put in a word for them. Okay. I'm gonna expect those pics to land on my phone tonight, by the way. By midnight. Otherwise, it's curtains. You understand? All right. David Bobo on the fan talking to you about the world of sports. What do you think about the Mets next year, huh? Well, Fred, Freddie needs to stop being a cheap Jay. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Your mom, right? She ever had, uh, your dad's dead, right? Yeah. Your mom is the. the did she ever have a boyfriend when you were growing up as a young man and, and maybe you overheard your mom getting railed by some guy? Maybe a... No, I never have. Never happened to you? No. 
David Bobo on the fan. Make sure you call us up. We're here. We're hot to trot, baby. Let me ask you a question. What do you think about the Knicks thus far? 10 and 10. They're playing 500 basketball. Pretty good, right? Yup, they're good. We haven't been this good since uh, since the 90s. Let me ask you a question. Do you ever find any dildos in your mom's bedroom? No, you never did. have. Any? You sure about that? I'm sure. Big black dildos. You never found those? Nope, never have. I have a box of them in my bag that you can take to her and say, here's a Thanksgiving gift from the Dave man. And then she can do it. But if she does it, make sure she films it and text me the video. You got a problem with that? Don't have a problem hey, with that. Not, not offended man. at all. Talking to you about the world of sports. I think uh, our sports show would just be absolutely dominant. Don't you? I, I would buy it. You would buy the show? Yeah. It's on WFAN. It's for free. You don't it's buy it. You listen to it. Oh! oh! I'm very sorry, Bubba. You can't do right today. <laughs> First, who is yelling at you? Why not the list? And Big A. <laughs> and now. And Allie gave you the double middle finger. Gave me the double Not guns. just one, but two. And Flutie crying. Yeah. Bubba's on my no. back. Big A's piling was up. Was she close to tears? I couldn't tell. It was the, It's not something that I've done, right? Because you're not, I see you, you're, but you're not, you're, perfect, you're not texting David. me. No, I'm saying it's not something I've done. No. To make you cry, okay. Not crying. Okay. <laughs> not crying. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> crying. It's Christopher Walken. I'm not crying. Well, John Travolta, <laughs> not crying I'm over here. <laughs> I'm just trying to play Chariots of Fire on my flute. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're a lovely person. I don't know what, let me, let me defend you for a second. I don't know what the fuck this fucking piece of shit is doing if he lets a prime <laughs> piece of Puerto Rican tail slip through his fingers. If I, and this ain't no Weinstein uh, scenario, I'm saying if, if it was consensual, if you and I were going out, my God, we would paint the town red. I would buy you fucking flowers every Sunday. You could look forward to a bouquet of red roses from the Dave man each and every Sunday. And then on Monday, I'd get you something like, you know, L L Puerto Rican. <laughs> like uh, like a, a fucking uh, a plate of quesadillas or something. Oh, that's I nice. don't know. I'm not always great with the gifts. The roses would be good. I gotta think of the other thing. But I would I would give you lots of gifts. Here's the thing. I've got some disposable income these days. Oh. Dave Man's making the uh, a little bit of the money. That's a change no. that we haven't heard before. Yeah. I'm I'm willing to to, to give you stuff. I, this is not me soliciting you know a thing. But is is that guy treating you right? Yeah. He's not he's not treating you right. He's doing something. Why don't you do this? Give me his phone number and the Dave man's gonna call him off the air. I'm gonna straighten this fucking shit out. I'm gonna tell this motherfucker. You treat this fucking bitch right, baby, or else Dave man's gonna <laughs> Yep. How'd that feel? Tell uh, me how it feels. That felt like uh, he saw Dave's tongue. That feels like a sexy jellyfish, right? Yeah. Dave man gonna sting you, hiss. He gonna sting you right in the dick. I'm a pimp, you my hoe now, baby. Okay. Bobo with the Dave man, that's our sports show. And please, please isolate that and send that tape to the WFAN. You all right? Yeah, 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 you by mistake. Right, oh, he couldn't move fast enough. He's like, okay, I'm out of here. That's enough. That's enough of this shit. <laughs> he's been, he's very quick. His feet are very fast tonight. He comes oh, yeah. up in quick. He leaves very fast. He leaves faster now. than he comes up. Feet so fails me now. <laughs> he's got very manly stubble though. When I'm licking uh, his fucking thing, I'm like, damn, this is some fucking good old fashioned Don Johnson Miami Vice stubble. You should get into that. A pink shirt with a white blazer. Start thinking of that look. That's very in right now, like 90, mid 80s. Look at Stranger Things, motherfucker. Start dressing like Don Johnson yep, starting next week. You can wear the Met hat, but I, I would do the pink shirt and the white blazer, okay? Yep, I think I might right, try next that. Week. Next week. All right, Roy. I'm going to wrap it up. Okay. I want to tell you that I love you. I, uh. Fingers were crossed. I'm with Allie. I uncross this finger and I go 
don't like this. <laughs> You're a fantastic human being. Hold on, I got a little... I'm sorry that Mr. Nailson left you out of the Thanksgiving photo. <laughs> That's Please right. try to restrain yourself from any more psychotic meltdowns. Please don't get us banned from the building. I poo. <laughs> we try to tone down the insanity until we're on the air. Because it's crazy. Bootsy, I love you. I don't give a fuck with this fucking guy. I'll tell you, whoever this guy is, you're not doing the right thing. I would treat you like the princess you are. Yeah. My nickname for you is Puerto Rican Princess. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Damn, it's been a real fine day. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Ain't got the blues, ain't got time for bad news. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Damn, it's been a real fine day. From Long Island to West LA. No need to worry, cause I ain't in no hurry. Damn, it's been a real fine day. There's a whole lot of trouble out in this world, yeah. Whole lot of worry, whole lot of worry. Now that I had you come into my life, there's a whole lot of reason to say. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Got on my new shoes, ain't no way we're gonna lose. Cause damn, it's been a real fine day. <laughs> Good night! See you next Tuesday! Yeah, 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 yeah